Wasatch Ultimate Ridge Linkup, or Whirl, is a route that traverses the ridgeline all the way around Little Cottonwood Canyon, from Twin to Lone. Ever since Jared Campbell, hashtag the other JC, completed and blogged about it, the Whirl has slowly become more and more popular. In recent years, it seems like the Whirl has been turning into some sort of benchmark to prove your skill and endurance in the scrambling scene. It's kind of like how in the 90s, if you played the guitar, everyone would always ask, Can you play Stairway to Heaven? as if that song were some established way to prove yourself as a guitar player. Well, neither Steve nor I play the guitar, but I guess you could say that the world is our Stairway to Heaven. In fact, I originally wanted to use Stairway to Heaven as the soundtrack for this video. Unfortunately, the copyright holder blocked it. Hashtag unfair way to heaven. These beautiful knife edge ridges will take us to Broad's Fork Twin, the first mountain on our list. In the meantime, let me give you some background. Steve and I have been wanting to do the world for years, especially ever since our friends Court and Spence did it in 2014. But scheduling conflicts and bad weather on our chosen dates just kept pushing it back year after year. But this year we had tons going for us. We knew almost the entire route, the weather was perfect, and we had tons of stashes for food and water. Really the only thing not going for us was that I had been battling a cough for like a week and a half. Steve later admitted that I had coughed so much on the way up to Twin, he thought there was no way we would finish. And I was coughing a lot. I was more of a cough man than Andy. But be that as it may, somehow I was able to endure. Hashtag endure Wigan. We tagged Twin ahead of schedule and then down climbed this crack on our way to O'Sullivan. This section has some great scrambling on really good rock for the most part. <coughs> yep, still coughing. Long way to go yet. Here's the top of Dromedary. Sure, it's only three peaks in, but it feels good to have completed a measurable portion of the world. It may not seem like a big deal, but it's a little less exposed. So, I'll be real careful. Mostly a lot of this kind of stuff on this section, which is pretty fun. Big fake summit. A couple little things then Monte Cristo. This section just before Monte Cristo had some of the most vertical and exposed terrain on the entire world. The moves are pretty easy, but you wouldn't want to be unfocused or even unlucky on this part. Pretty high consequence. This is one of the few sections that I had never done until doing the whirl, but in retrospect it was one of my favorite parts and I'd love to do it again. On top of Monte Cristo, we came from there. Superior sure looks inferior from this angle. Hashtag inferior superior. From here it got dramatically easier. The terrain was nothing, but the distance was really more than we had anticipated. Here's one fairly significant climb just over Cardiff Pass. But overall there was a lot less worth filming in this section, so I didn't do a lot of it until Catherine Pass where we met up with Jamin Nelson, who joined us for Devil's Castle and Sugarloaf. 
The terrain here is fairly exciting, but I only captured a couple good shots in the darkness. For example, here's a few shots that are too dark to tell what the heck's going on. Hashtag need more exposure. What you're not seeing is that shortly after Jamin left us, we met up with Sam Jukes and Aaron Williams on the top of Bald Mountain. These two stayed with us all the way until the saddle between Red Baldy and White Baldy. I want to thank all three of these guys again for the support and supplies, but mostly just for the companionship through those dark hours. A while after parting ways with Sam and Aaron, we reached this stash at the base of the Pfeifferhorn. Even with all the water we had stashed, we're still getting pretty dehydrated. I hadn't peed in earnest since like dromedary. Hashtag Ernest P. Whirl. Here's a little more pointless dark footage that you can pretend means anything to you. The sun started coming up as we reached South Thunder, lifting our spirits and making travel a lot easier. Plus, we each had one last energy drink stashed. Woohoo! Needless to say, we were moving pretty slowly over to and up Bighorn, but this is what we consider fun terrain, so we try to enjoy it as much as we can. Top of Bighorn. <laughs> One final climb, and we're finally at the top of Lone Peak, the last on our list. We've now summited 25 named peaks plus many unnamed ones. It is all downhill from here, but there's at least one more feature that I consider an obstacle. It's the descent into Bells Canyon via this notch just north of Lone Peak. If you factor in fatigue, I think it's one of the most difficult portions of the entire world. Once down into Bells, it takes us a minute to find the trail, but then it's an easy slog all the way out to the parking lot. The world definitely ranks amongst the most difficult physical challenges I've ever voluntarily endured. I felt totally drained for days afterward. It's like the world just sucked it right out of me. Hashtag, the world is a vampire. The world is a vampire. <laughs>